hello everyone welcome back to another video it's uh, been a pretty late update so let's get right to the part what we are going to see and learn today we are going to learn how we can create a field of view system for our enemy ai in unity and as you can see i have got a nav mesh player here and a player game object suppose it's a sphere you can do anything like a fps player or third person player and suppose i just it's the for the black part is its uh, face so it's uh, facing this direction okay so if i bring the player some extent into its field of view so it will start chasing suppose it goes out of view which is if it, the enemy is facing this direction and its a uh, field of view is like this somewhat in this area then it's out of its view so it will not chase so and uh, if i <laughs> bring back to its area so it will start chasing as you can see here so we are going to see how we can implement this system and let's see the code part it's actually very pretty easy and hope it will be very helpful for you let's get started and let's see how we are going to do the basic setups first so at very first we have a we have a capsule here which is just a basic capsule and inside that we have a sphere which is textured with a black material and we also have a nav mesh agent attached to it okay and we have a AI script which we are going to write. So just go to your assets tab here, go to right click, create any C sharp script, name it anything you want. I named it AI. And let's see what's there in the code part. So at the code part, as you can see here, we have our few variables here. So this is the player game object, which is a reference to the player here. Okay. And it's a game object type and it's public so that we can assign it in the inspector. Next we have our navmesh agent component here named agent and to use this component you need to add this thing here using unity engine.ai then only you can access or use this stuff here. Afterwards we have a public declaration of a float type game a float type variable which is named deg which reference which refers to the degrees okay the degrees or the field of view degrees here and at the start we are getting the reference to the navmesh component of uh, the game object and assigning it to the agent here okay so these are all for the initialization and declaration parts let's get to the part where the things happen so in update part we have a vector 3 type variable named directs dir okay inside that we have a we are calculating the vector from the enemy ai to the player suppose this is the enemy and suppose this is the player so we are calculating this thing and this vector pointing towards player so this vector can be calculated by doing position of p minus position of e here that's the same thing you are doing we are getting the player dot transform dot position component here and subtracting it with the transform dot position which is the enemy ai's position and we are getting a, this vector here okay this is the vector dir here so next afterwards the main thing comes here we have a very good uh, method inbuilt in unity use which is vector 3 dot angle it will give us the angle between two vectors mm -hmm. Suppose this is a vector, this is a vector. So the angle between this can we we can get this angle by using this method here. Okay. So we are doing vector three dot angle here, and we are feeding it the transform dot forward, which is the if suppose this is the enemy, this is the forward vector, this vector, and suppose here is the uh, player here, this is the dir vector. So we are first assigning transform dot forward this f vector here, and next is the this vector here. And it will give us a degree here and we are comparing if the degree is less than the degree here assigned which is suppose i can assign it as 45 degree for an example purpose here you can assign it anything you want so if it's less than suppose if theta is less than 45 which means the player is in the field of view of the enemy so in that case it will start chasing so that's why we are doing agent dot set destination and we are setting destination to players dot transform dot position and before these things here we have a main thing here no, uh, called mathf dot absolute here mathf dot abs called so this will give us the positive value whether it is the value of this thing the angle we get is negative or positive we will always give the positive value using this suppose this is the forward vector of uh, enemies this is a top side view okay and suppose here is a player so this angle can be negative if suppose here is the player then this angle can be positive eh? so that's why just in case to avoid these things here suppose here 45 we will get here minus 45 so avoid these things here we are using absolute which will convert this to plus 45 for both the sides okay so in that case it will be in range of view that's the thing we are doing here using mathf.absolute here 
and then we are setting the agent's destination to player and that's all for the scripting part here and i hope it's uh, pretty easy to understand it's just four or five lines of code just two things here vector three dot angle and agent dot set destination and the agent and the deal that's all nothing else is there in the script and it's pretty easy to understand let's see uh, before doing the things here we need to do one more step so before uh, hitting the play button here you will uh, face some errors we need to do one more step here just go and tap on your terrain go to window go to ai here go to navigation you will get this tab here the, go to bake section and just just click bake it will then just uh, create a nav mesh area for your agent to navigate in otherwise without this thing here your ai can't navigate without this thing here so this is the most important part all your script won't work if you don't have this nav mesh area baked okay then afterwards go to your uh, inspector tab to get the things back again and if you now if you hit the play button and now if you move your uh, queue it won't do anything because you haven't assigned it before doing that just go to your capsule go to down here then drag and drop your player game object whether it may be fps player or anything like third person player or whatever player you want i have in this case just for an example purpose i have put a sphere here okay then drag and drop your player into the script part here okay this player and assign the degrees which is uh, basically the field of view here just assign the field of view how much angles you want suppose 40 degree you want the field of view you will assign 40 here so just go and give the values here and now if you hit the play button everything will work go to scene here if now you drag and drag nearby see it will start chasing see if it goes out of view it won't chase if it gets in the view it will start chasing okay so this is uh, basic stuff here but uh, it's a uh, pretty good to implement if you want the ai to be more intelligent just increase the degrees suppose like 85 degrees so it will its field of view will increase and it can see you much faster than before you can do like systems like up to some distance it can see you you can do systems like if it hears a sound or uh, get uh, an uh, initiation of any sound from a particular point it will go and check that point it will move towards that point like just basic building stuff like just stack the abilities over and over to build complex ai systems and it will make your game feel lot lot better than before okay this is just the basics and uh, hope it was very helpful and uh, very informative for you and before leaving thank you for all the support you have been showing me this uh, upload has been pretty late uh, due to some my, of my reasons and please uh, suggest me some contents or some topics to make videos on it it will uh, drastically help the content that i provided and help me with the topics that's all for today's video have a great day bye